folks. I'm on Miami Beach with the hubby, and I'm getting in the water. I've already been in the water, but uh, so that's why my hair looks the way it does. Say hi, baby. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to immerse it in the water. No, I don't want to immerse because I don't know about the salt water. It might have a different effect. Good afternoon, friends and family out in YouTube world. It's your fellow alopecia princess, Jacqueline Hill Bennett. Thank you for tuning in. I'm here today to do a three month update on a couple of the wigs that I have reviewed in the past. The first one is the one that I'm wearing, which is Soho Chic by Louis Fair. And the other one is my Amber by Jean Renault. Um, these three month updates, in my opinion, are super important because you get to see how the wig is holding up over time. I find that I have spent, I don't know, I really don't know because I lost count, but I think that I've spent maybe a million dollars in my 40 years, well, in my 30 years wearing wigs. I could be wrong. I'm sure I'm overestimating to some degree, but probably not much. Um, I feel like I spent a whole, like a grip. Like, you know how somebody says, like, you spent a grip. I feel like I spent a whole lot of money. Like, I feel like I could have probably mortgaged a house with the amount of money I spent on wigs over the years. And I think that if I had um, this YouTube resource back in the day, I know for a fact I would not have bought half the wigs that I bought. Maybe even 75% of the wigs that I purchased, I would not have purchased. You know, back in the day, we used to buy wigs blindly. We would just go to the beauty supply store and get a wig and just cross our fingers because you could spend a lot of money on a wig and it could be crap, like literal crap. You know, you're walking down the street and you're thinking you're all cute and you're all, hey girl, nice to see you, all right, have a good night. And then you put, walk past that express store window and you see a reflection of yourself and you have that bird nest growing in the back of your head looking like a cyst it's just enough to make you <clears throat> i'm not gonna be cursing in this video not too much anyway oh that's my doorbell i don't want to stop this video i'll let the kids answer it okay so anyway so yeah we spent a lot of money in our wigs so um i had this epiphany like back in November, that I was gonna change my whole world. I'm gonna change my life. I'm 42 years old now, and I don't think that I've been living to my full potential. Hold on a moment, please. Look who just came home from school. <laughs> a really, really big sweatshirt. So cute. Say hi, Mimi. All right, go, go, I have to finish. I don't wanna drag this video too long. Okay, so like I was saying, I had this epiphany back in November, and I decided I'm gonna change my world. I'm gonna to live to my potential. I'm not gonna waste money anymore. I'm gonna face my challenges. And ever since I've done that, this year has been amazing. Um, I, I don't even wanna talk about like how amazing it is. Well, we'll just start with like the amount of money I feel like I've already saved. Even though I don't think I've saved any money yet because I did go out Jan January 1st and um, I picked up this, these two wigs that came up to $678.91. So I don't know that I actually saved any money yet, but I feel like what I know now about these wigs, I definitely will save money because they're gonna last me another four months before I even feel like they need to, you know, kind of just go in the wig graveyard that I have back there in my closet so anyway so yeah so I got this Soho Chic wig and I wore it um I've been wearing this wig for three months I bought it and literally the next day I put it on and it worked just fine it required so little effort and to to look natural I just put it on and I just been wearing it ever since I do like from time to time switch up but in general, this is like my travel buddy. I go everywhere with Soho Chic by Louis Fair. And she's holding up very nicely. 
Look at her. Look at the way she moves. Oh, today I have her in those like uh, half up, half down hairstyles that you probably wore when you were like in the seventh grade. Yeah, that's me today. But, you know, I like it. It's something fun, something different for the day because you got to spice life up because it ain't just going to get spicy on its own. And even a hairstyle can spice it up, right? Okay, so yeah, I wore it like that today. Um, I took this. I was actually on vacation last week. Let me just talk about that real quick. I was on vacation last week, and um, actually I went to a conference, a business conference. I left Monday for the business conference in Texas, and then I spent basically a day and a half there. And then on Wednesday evening, I traveled out to Miami to meet my husband. So in Texas during the meeting, I um, wore this Soho chic wig. I'm taking her out of the bun now so you can see how I wore her. So let's talk about, you know, this pivotal moment in my life that I went on my very first business trip. My boss asked me to go in her place because she's going to be on vacation. So um, she couldn't make it. So she asked me, which I'm so touched, like, mm, you really think that I could do this? And I did it. I, I put aside all my fears. And, you know, I got to tell you, it's, there are fears associated with this because I don't know if you, um, alopecia princesses out there suffer the same sort of anxiety that I do um, in social situations. I think I have a, a, a I pretty much um, self-diagnose myself with a social anxiety disorder because <laughs> I really don't like people getting close to me. I don't like people... I love to speak to people for 10, 15 minutes, and then really I don't want anything to do with them after that. I really, I don't even know what it is, but like I'm super friendly. I say hi to everyone. I'm super cordial. People seem to genuinely like me, but then as soon as like they get a little comfortable, they think it's okay to start with the, so tell me about your hair. Is that all yours? You know, and it's just like, you know, bitch, you're not original. You know what I'm saying? You're not original for asking me that question. Every single Jane and every other Tom asks me that question. And it's just like, I don't want this conversation to happen every moment of my life. So I kind of just like hide away in my little cave with my family. And I, ooh, hold on. I have to go do something. I'm back. Real quick, right? Okay, I'm going to try to not talk so much. <laughs> okay, so anyway. So, um, I don't remember where I left off. But, yes. This is Louis Fair Soho Chic. I went to that um, conference with it. Um, I pushed back all my fears. Whatever social anxiety I have, I pushed it back and I, I actually allowed myself to sit down and eat dinner with people who I would never normally have the opportunity to sit down and eat with and have discussions about things I would normally never discuss and on levels that I would normally never discuss, possibly just because I, I would never really have that opportunity if not for being invited to this conference. Um, I was talking to like doctors who were practicing 30 years and uh, operations managers who have been in the business the 30 years. And here I am, little old administrative assistant who like pays the bills in the office, you know. Um, but I did it, like I sat down and I did it. And, and I'm, I feel like I'm a better person for it just because I broke through that barrier. I've never done anything like that before. And I did it for a straight 22 hours, like, because it was like seriously 22 hours of straight business. You got a little break to eat here and there, but even when you were eating, you were eating with those colleagues. And I'm pretty proud of myself because trust me, it, it is so far out of my comfort zone. And I did learn some time ago that it is outside of your comfort zone. That magic happens so yeah I think magic happened on that um, business trip anyway so yeah this is Soho chic 
can you see how natural she looks? I think it, I think she's a beautiful wig. She moves so lovely. Um, I actually I plan on doing putting out a video of how I got her to you know just be a little bit more wavy because she was super straight, and then um, I started to feel like she was too straight. She was getting to straight to the point where it wasn't even looking natural anymore. So I took the heat to her, and I bumped her out a little bit, but she just still looks fantastic. So she was like my partner at this meeting when I was. Um, feeling overwhelmed or feeling like the only Democrat in a room full of like Republicans, I would just kind of like talk to my hair. And Soho Chic was there for me. Thank you, Soho Chic. Okay, so the next wig that I'm going to review. Now, I did tell you I wore her for three months straight. Um, three months, let's, let's take away about 10 days because in those 10 days, I was probably wearing or experimenting with some of my other wigs. But ultimately, the other wig that I just started wearing about two months ago was the Amber by Jean Reno that I reviewed a couple times. Um, she gave me a little challenge because when I bought her, she was super long, like super long down here. And she had these big like Barbie doll waves. It was kind of hair that you would not imagine on a person like me or at least I can't imagine on a person like me so I had to do some things to tame her down I cut her a little shorter I took a wave iron to her to give her some texture because she was very straight also although she did have the waves she was still straight and I wanted something with body because that's kind of in style now right some hair with body so I did that and then we went to Miami, and when I say we, I mean me and Amber. We went to Miami, I met my husband, and we went swimming. And that's why she looks the way she does today. She actually looks beach wavy. Isn't that amazing? And she smells amazing too. Why? Because I, after I came out the ocean, I did wash her. I used some sulfate-free shampoo, and it doesn't have to be this brand. This is just one that I find to be um, inexpensive. This argan oil, cream of nature. And I literally use like, like a drop, like this much. I don't even try to wash it a whole lot. Whatever's in the hair, you know, if it didn't get washed out in that little drop of, of shampoo, then oh well, it's just gonna stay there because I don't want to wash out the, um, the chemical that they layer it with. Hold a moment, please busy time of day anyway yeah so um bumped her out and now she's good to go so i'm gonna take her off show you what she looks like take soho chic off give you one last look Ooh, look how she moves she's a gorgeous wig and so versatile you saw how i had her up you can do all kinds of things with wigs if you just take a minute to do it and don't fear. You know, no fear. Have no fear when it comes to anything. Anything. Anyway. All right. So let's do this. Oh, I really glued the crap out of this wig down. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. And I hope no residue is left behind because I hate that. Okay. And look at me. I'm still an alopecia princess all right so this is um amber oh my god i'm blind as bad guys yeah you <sighs> secrets out bald as an eagle and blind as a bat okay Make fun of me if you want to. I'm me, bitch. <laughs> Who are you? And I can see now. Okay, so can you just imagine how much fun I had in this wig? <laughs> me and
and Amber, we had a good time. When we met my husband in Miami and we went swimming and we went and did all kinds of fun things in this wig. That I'll keep to myself. I, I wish you could just like reach your hand into the camera and feel this wig. It feels so creamy and good. Oh, I think I was telling you earlier how I washed it. I washed it with a little bit of shampoo and then I took like a big scoop of this silicone mix. And I dumped it in the water and I just let it sit there for like 20 minutes and then I washed it out. But I didn't wash it all out because I wanted to leave a little bit of the conditioner on it, just a little tiny bit, not a whole lot, because it would just get all tacky and sticky and then it wouldn't even move the way it should. But right now, it really feels like human hair out of the ocean. I'm gonna insert a clip of, you know, myself swimming and I hope that you enjoy that. And I hope that you enjoyed this three month, three months for Louis Fair Soho Chic and two months for uh, Amber by Jean Renaud. Sorry for keeping you guys for so long. I always talk a lot in my videos and I'm sorry. It's just that I have so much to talk about. You guys are like my new world. Like YouTube opened up this new world of people who are just like me and who want to talk about the same things that I want to talk about and who will actually sit up and watch videos about alopecia like nobody else except another alopecia princess or prince or king would do that, would take the time to do that. And I really appreciate just having this outlet, not just for you guys, but for me, like as an outlet, just some place where I can talk to people and please comment below because those comments they mean the world to me it just lets me know that I'm actually reaching people who who are struggling just like me this is a struggle um at times it's really hard but sometimes you forget you have a problem because life is just so good and you gotta live for those days so if you're having any social anxiety disorders or if you're worried that you'll never be able to go swimming again check out the clip Life can be good.